and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Instapot. I just received this. I've been looking forward to this. Um, this device is capable of doing a lot of things and replacing a lot of equipment in our kitchen with one thing, saving space, the whole nine yards. So I'm very excited to have it. I'm going to be doing a lot of posts here, testing out all the different features and finding some really cool recipes along the way. And hope you guys join me. So what we've got here is we've got the Instant Pot brand. It's the Duo 60 six quart, seven in one multi-use. So it's a programmable pressure cooker, which is pretty cool. A lot of people have usually been scared of pressure cookers because the whole idea of removing the top and everything like that. Um, so I haven't used this before, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. I'm sure they've made a lot of cool upgrades through the years. Um, it's also a slow cooker, rice cooker, steamer, saute, which is cool and a yogurt maker <clears throat> and a warmer. So once you're done cooking or if you braise something in here or you use a pressure cooker, you want to release the steam and let it stay warm. It's a, a warmer too, so that's pretty cool. You know, often things start to stay warm when you're having a party and things like that. It's a little bit of a challenge. Let's go ahead and pop in here. Start seeing what we got. challenge with pressure cooking is people being scared to use a pressure cooker. So these guys have thought of it. Cool. Alright, let's move on, let's get inside. So let's see, what do we got? We've got material. Not the most important thing right now, but still pretty interesting to see what we got. and at least how to use our product, which is helpful. And let's see, the lid there, power cable. And the button is the pop. Very cool. up here. Let's see, how do we open this thing up? So we've got in the front an open and close option here. So let's go ahead and go with open. So it opens nice and easy. That's good. Well, and that's the uh, 
pressure relief valve, which on the top is just like that. There's a way to, I guess you just turn it and press it down, it comes up. It'll be interested to see how that works. It's pretty pliable. So it has a says right here. It says ceiling and below it it says venting so you got one position versus the other well, that's good very easy to know all right let's see what else we got here Precise. And this is interesting. Don't know what this is yet, but we'll soon find out. I'm guessing it's either for some kind of seasoning or water. The little thing in the middle, the divider, I guess that's got me a little confused. So that's kind of cool, not knowing. Let's see what else we got. Yes, probably, I don't know, I don't really want to say eggs, but it's got to be a matter of something's in there that's been cooking. This is the way to raise it back out. Um, I know that there are inserts for this, for egg cookery, so it looked very similar, but it has a bunch of little spots where you put your eggs. And um, I do have a sales website, and I, I do sell that stuff in there, so in the description below, I will provide a link for the egg cookery and whatever other good accessories we've got there. The egg cookery part of this does seem pretty cool, especially if you want to cook a lot of eggs, like for devil's eggs, and you're making a party or having a party. Um, <clears throat> I think for me, the egg cooking thing can be a pretty big deal. So let's see. So this is very nice, very sturdy. It's screaming high quality to me. It doesn't feel like light. I mean, this is thick. So it's gonna be good for pressure cooking and braising meats. Tells you where max flow. I guess it depends on the cooking method that you're using. Cool. And this is the six quart, so it's you know that's one and a half gallons. That's a good size pot. Couldn't imagine really needing much bigger for a normal family. Let's see, here's a warning sign. Make sure the heating element is free from grease and debris. Do not leave food on the heating element. Only use the genuine Instant Pot inner pots for cooking. So, let's take a look at the inside. So, one Instant Pot coming right up. So, we've got a really nice interface that we'll be covering extensively through the next number of videos. We'll test every single cooking method, which will be fun. And in the inside, I guess that bottom thing is the heating element. And there's a ridge that goes around it. So when you put your finger, I can actually put my finger underneath the base plate in there. See that circle part? So. That's some different kind of stuff going on the bottom. I guess it's a large just heating element like that piece of paper implied. So this is the thing that you don't ever want to have touch anything besides the bowl. So that keeps it nice and easy. So if we were gonna cook, we'd be like simply boom boom boom. Our goodies are in the pan. Let's put our lid on, which the lid connects. Let's see. I'm thinking that was right. Oh, 
mine goes on super easy. There, I'll give you guys a better view. And then moves. Okay, I'll give you a nice view here. So with the lid right here, this is what we're going to pay attention to. So this is just placed on. So if we look at this, we want those to match up. So starting out here in the back area, if you guys can see this well. Essentially we place it on this side where that's not connected. And then it just goes boom, and then you're in position, which is nice and easy. get a nicer view of the front right here. So this is something I think I'll see myself using a good bit of. It's keep warm. I like that. Um, some pressure cookers, it's a matter of how much heat you put underneath the pressure cooker. So having pressure level really is going to let us really dial in your style of cooking or how the doneness you want, which I'm excited about. Um, I love the idea of a slow cooker. I mean, how great of Bray short ribs could this thing do? Um, or let's think about pressure cook. You know what? I've got a piece of brisket that I was thinking about doing a Texas style where I could do one in the pressure cooker and one in the slow cooker. We'll see how it turns out. So I think that's the first thing I'll do for you guys. We'll do meat or we'll test the pressure in the slow cooker because that's kind of the cool or part of this you know, device or at least the big selling point. So I'm a fan. I'm excited.